Hi guys, today I want to test my new uh, mini scale which is uh, said to have an accuracy of uh, one milligram and for this purpose I want to use um, this syringe which has uh, a scale of 50 microliters one microliters is roughly one milligram so uh, of water so um, it's uh, quite useful to uh, measure the accuracy with this uh, destilled water and um, but I have to take some things into account because water can evaporate over time and uh, its um, density is dependent on temperature and so I have looked up some values and uh, found that at 25 degrees Celsius, which is currently the case here, as you can see, um, water evaporates at a rate of 0 0.185 etc. Uh, microliters per second can see this in this calculation um, and that is for the surface of about 16 square centimeters which is the little bucket surface here where I will put the water in and this bucket I will put on the scale so it depends on how long the water will be in the bucket and uh, it will have uh, time to evaporate. We will check this, how, how long it takes later. And uh, so we can roughly calculate if um, the accuracy of the scale is correct at one milligram. So I'll begin now. I'll take this water out of the glass with the syringe. We'll put exactly 50 microliters inside. Uh, this seems to be correct. All right. I hope there are no bubbles. Well, there are some bubbles, so I have to put it back and try again. Probably I sucked some air inside, so let's try again. Okay, there's still a little bubble, but I think I can push it out. No, it's no bubble. It's a bubble, yes. Let's try again. It's not so easy as I thought. <laughs> a little bit slowly. More slowly. And now let's have a look. Hmm. Looks like there's still a little bubble, but uh, I can compensate for that by having sucked a little bit more inside. So it should be this yes, should be 50 microliters. Okay. Now let's turn on the scale. It has been already uh, calibrated with 20 grams. This is ten. This is twenty. As you can see, it's twenty milligrams or oh, twenty grams. 
20,000 milligrams. Alright, this seems to be okay. Now, back to zero. And it's now I'll put this bucket, the container, on it. Of course, shows more. So there we have the tear function to subtract the weight of the bucket. And now we have to be a little bit quick so it doesn't evaporate too much and start counting the seconds. Okay, now I put it inside the bucket. There we have already 48 milligrams. Okay, I have prepared now another syringe filling with um, 15 mi uh, microliters. This time there are no bubbles inside, as you can see. It's pretty, pretty exactly 5 to 15 microliters, no bubble. And uh, now I will first put into the buckets, uh, say, um, five microliters and see if it's five milligrams around five milligrams right of course this hangs on the syringe it doesn't fall into the bucket so I have to put it down now this is seems to be six milligrams of water According to the scale, oh, it's fluctuating a bit. Now I put um, another five microliters inside, down to 40. See, now it says 10 milligrams, which is pretty accurate considering the fact that it was 10 microliters so far. Now let's do it a bit quicker. Add another 10 microliters down to 30. Loop. Yes, 21. That's about right. Uh, fluctuating down to 80 or 20. It's fluctuating a bit. It seems to be rather stable at 20. Okay, another, uh, another 10 down to 20. All right, that's 28, 29, yes, a little bit of evaporation perhaps, now another 10 microliters, there we go, 39, 38 milligrams, and the last 10 microliters are following. There we have it, 49 micrograms, 50 microliters, and a little bit of evaporation. So the scale, which by the way I bought on AliExpress, is very much according to my needs, that is, it's pretty accurate. It goes as far as I know. Oh, I could look it up. I think it goes up to 500 grams or 50, 50 grams. I have to look that up. I'll put that into the description. All right. So, okay. I could push this down and see how. How it goes. Uh -huh. Seems to be 50. Maximum white, I guess. It shows something strange at 50, 50 grams. So it goes up to 50 grams. Uh, let's put it back and see how much it was. It is, is still is 45 milligrams. Yeah, no, there must have been some evaporation. And uh, I played around with the scale with my finger, so of course there will be some little fluctuation. 
Mm -hmm. If we wait another few minutes, then it will probably completely evaporate and should be back to zero. But I will not wait that long now. <laughs> Alright. By the way, if you are interested into the syringes, um, this is the manufacturing company. Unfortunately, I can't um, read or speak Chinese, but perhaps if you see a picture somewhere, you will be able to identify it. Uh, this bird, for example, should be a hint. 5 to 50 microliters. Some instructions, probably. I don't know what it means. Okay, um, it's pretty neat. Easy to use and very accurate. It has a graduation, or it's uh, the lines are one one microliter steps. Goes up to fifty. There are different sizes. There are even smaller ones or bigger ones. Think they go down to 0 0.1 microliters, which is extremely small, and uh, of course, there are much bigger ones. But for this purpose, this one was quite useful. Of course, cost a little bit, cost a couple of bucks, but uh, it's worth the price. And the manufacturing of such a syringe is certainly not so easy. Then, if you want to have a look at the package of the scale, here's the scale package. As I said, can be found on AliExpress, same as the syringe. What comes with it? Tweezers, two ten, uh, ten, uh, 10 gram weights, not 10 milligram, 10 gram, and this little bucket container. Of course, the scale. Right. I'm pretty impressed by the scale, also by the syringe, but. Well, the reason why I bought the syringe was for the scale. Anyway, I can recommend it. I forgot some instructions come along as well. Alright. 